What's going on, guys? Thanks for joining me. Another episode of Mind Muscle Meditation. Please like and subscribe, and we're going to get right into it. So in this video, you can see I am training calves, and what I like to do is concentrate on my big toe. So basically, when I'm coming up in the motion, I'm pressing up through my big toe, and at the top, I'm squeezing my calves as hard as I can. And as I come down, I try to concentrate on the negative. I squeeze the calves and come down for two to three seconds with a full stretch. At the bottom, when my feet, um, my ankles are at the very bottom and my calves are fully stretched out, I contract the calves and that's all I do. To raise myself up, I contract the calves and raise myself up with only the contraction of the calf and then at the very top, another big squeeze. And you just keep doing this until you can't do it anymore. The calves can be worked um, all the time. You can pretty much train them three, four times a week. Uh, pretty hard, a lot of sets, a lot of reps. And this is how you build your calves. You just have to do them over and over and over again. Uh, there is a point where you can do them too much if you start training them like five, six times a week. You can actually atrophy the calves, but most people are not going to be able to do that. Most people do not train them enough. So this is the proper motion all the way up with a big squeeze all the way down and you just focus on that mind-muscle connection the entire time. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually using a dip belt with two 45 pound plates to add weight and I'm doing the calf raises on two 4 by 4s So I'm about 8 inches off the ground so I can get a real good deep stretch. And of course this is in the shred shed where I work out at my house because all the gyms are closed due to the uh, COVID. All right, so here you can see my buddy's working out with me and notice that his ankles just flared off a little bit. And what that does is it actually takes resistance off the calf muscles a little bit. And every time that you move your feet, it takes resistance off. So you wanna maintain that pump. Now he's going at a little bit faster clip than I am and that's okay when you first start to really get that pump. But once you start going and you do have that pump in your calves, you really do want to concentrate on the negative and give yourself at least two or three seconds on the uh, eccentric phase, the negative phase, so that you can build the calves because you are going to recruit 33% more muscle tissue on the negative. And if you're going down too fast, it's really going to compromise you. Now, as you can see, he's going down quite a bit slower that he's got the pump going and you can really see the diamonds. All right, so you can see my ankle starting to flare out a little bit on the left-hand side. That's not good, but it's not too bad being the beginning of the set, just trying to get a little bit of placement. But you really want to keep your feet um, straight in without any motion and just concentrate on the contraction and the stretch. So what I like to say is squeeze and breathe. So you want to be breathing out as you're squeezing your calves on the way up, on the way down with a negative um, uh, uh, eccentric phase, you want to be breathing in. And as you can see, I'm moving a little bit. I'm trying to get the outers because as you can see with my calves, my calves are much more developed on the inner side, which tells me that I typically walk with my toes out a little bit and that's probably why they're more developed that way so i'm trying to turn my toes in a little bit again concentrating on my big toes and then going up on the big toes and then squeezing as hard as i can towards the top and then a nice controlled descent for the negative and i'm trying to hit those outer heads and as you can see they're a little bit more vascular um, due to the uh, last couple of sets, I've got a good pump going on. Uh, some of the veins are coming out. And that's how you know that you're getting an effective calf workout. If you start getting that tight pump, uh, pump in your calves and you get that tightness and then you start getting the vascularity, especially on the fronts. And uh, as you can see, I have the veins coming out in the back. 
Um, that's going to be recruiting more muscle fibers, you know, pushing that blood into the muscle. You're getting that blood force trauma, stretching the fascia tissue, and you just have to, you know, go through as much pain as you possibly can without injuring yourself, of course, but the calves can really take a lot of abuse. So just, you know, push as much blood as you can into the muscle with the controlled, um, big contractions and the big squeeze and then just stretching at the bottom and that's how you build your calves now i've pretty much done as many as i can do and now i'm going to partials and i'm just continuing to try to get that pump and once i exit um i'm going to do some without weight and just continue to get that pump all right so here my buddy is again you can see his left ankle likes to kick out a little bit but um he's really going up all the way to the top and he's really getting a good squeeze on his calves and then you can see he's really slowed down the descent to concentrate on that negative negative. and as you can see you know this is his second or third set his calves are a little bit bigger a little bit more separated he's really recruited a lot of muscle fibers for this next set uh, because of the previous sets that he's done. So it's looking pretty good right now. All right, so as you can see, I'm not using any weight now. My calves are pretty fatigued. I can feel that my form is really starting to go. And I'm just trying to, you know, work them a little bit past failure. And um, I'm switching off to uh, one leg. I'm going to do the other one. Um, you know, you just have to go by feel. A lot of it is that mind-muscle connection. And, uh, you know, your weight that you're using um, is going to change depending on your um, fatigue level, your energy level. You know, did you train calves first? Did you train calves last? So you really have to go by feel. And uh, there's no ego lifting. Ego lifting is absolutely pointless. So, you know, I'm just using body weight now. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of vascularity. I'm just getting that pump and continuing to try to stretch and just pump the blood in and really like have a hypertrophic effect on the muscle tissue, even without any weight, just pure body weight. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I try to keep these videos as concise as possible to make the most of your time. And if you did find value in this content, please like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts below. Thank you and I'll see you next time.